Listen, you makes me feel like I'm an amusement park boarding a roller coaster and you're giving the safety instructions, dude. Come on now, bus. Anyways, lucky ones, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'll be going over the seven biggest mistakes you're currently making on Rebirth Island. And no, I'm not going over the basic stuff like make sure you guys don't full kill. Or did you know if you full kill, you get a ping of the rest of the team? I want to go a little bit more in detail about stuff that you are currently missing. If you guys saw the last video, I proposed this idea of whether or not we should do a clip review of not my gameplay or pro players, but your guys his gameplay once in a while to really critique and show how you know a certain player can improve and i thought the easiest way to do this is if you guys comment down below what you guys are currently trying to work on and then posting your own 15 or 30 second clip on your youtube channel so when i click on that profile i can go ahead and just watch the gameplay from there and of course give you guys credit and all that but yeah if you guys are interested in this just let me know that you want to be critiqued and what you are currently work on and why i should review your gameplay anyways guys if you enjoyed the video and only if you enjoyed the video make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe if you're new with those push notices on so you guys know every single time i upload a new video and make sure you share this video with that one friend who's on rebirth island who is constantly being rebirth just spawning over and over let's hope that man get some kills all right enjoy the rest of your day guys and peace out all right so the first thing on the list is you're currently using warzone classes on rebirth island now whether it's your friend's idea or your idea to propose hey you know let's switch from warzone and rebirth for a couple games or just to end the night you're not going ahead and change your class more or less likely you're just hopping into the game and thinking everything's okay and let's just take a look at two examples of what i mean so the one i have right now on the screen that is a warzone class you got the same Texas, you got double time, you got amped, of course, using overkill to use that AR and sub combo, and that's what's going to dominate over on Warzone. However, we're going to take a look at two rebirth classes and what your classes should generally look at, just and then obviously you could change the guns as is. But the first one being a sub and a sniper. Now, I love the OTS and the Car 98, I think they're best guns, but also take a look at the perks. You got the quick fix, overkill, and amped. Alongside the lethals have changed as well to throwing knives to help get those full kills. Make sure you're making these key adjustments because Warzone classes will not be beneficial on rebirth island another variation of a class is running not even having overkill you don't have to run overkill and your perks change a lot your your primary weapon could be the ots or a bullfrog or even an xm4 an xm4 without a 3x site because again it's a rebirth island not warzone you don't need that 3x site and then running that with a secondary you could use an amp i didn't make the class for it a pistol a diamati and then running quick fix so your health is regened a lot faster every kill because rebirth is like like it's really really fast and it's a tdm style game mode you got tempered as well to help you add those two plates and then combat scout you could also use amped as well but i noticed a lot of players will use combat scout and then of course the throwing knife and the heartbeat sensor but again make sure you guys are using rebirth classes for rebirth island and warzone classes for warzone all right the second tip is exactly when you hop into that game now you start rebirth island you jump down and maybe there's a team contesting you your team manages to wipe three of them and there's one player left now a lot of times players are called out oh it's the last guy don't kill don't kill don't kill but if you're playing off rip you are still allowed to knock that player because everybody spawns in with self-revive so get that knock and just let that player be more or less likely that player will start self-reviving but that allows him to put in an idle position and not run around and potentially kill your teammates because that 3v1 situation if you guys aren't killing could immediately turn into a 2v1 and now his teammates are coming back fighting a 4v2 so make sure the safest route if you're contested by one team off rip because that's when his players are guaranteed that self revive you knock every single players you full kill three of them but you leave one knocked you don't let him run around you don't say last guy leave him alone no you still put that player down and let him go down in that self revive position and let him self revive that gives you guys more time more time to regroup more time to get money and all that stuff and you also get that audio cue as soon as that player is back up and alive step number three and this is one of my secrets i don't want to share with you guys but i'm gonna do it anyways because this is how i get a lot of my kills is never go for the loadout that spawns only go for the loadout that you guys buy and the reason for that is more or less if you're able to get your loadout very quickly off rip you're now in a dominant position because as those players begin to die they're not going to have that ego to buy their own loadout so what they're doing is waiting for the first one to drop for free when you have your loadout it's very easy to pick players off flying straight down going out grabbing their loadout freezing so they can pick their loadout getting and then running away that's where the kills are cycled through that's where a lot of the times you'll see throughout my gameplay or other you know captures gameplay bear pigs or anybody else's gameplay you see getting a lot of high kill games like these pro players they're getting this because they know how to properly cycle it's not just about leaving one person alive it's about being in the right position and that right position is when there's four loadouts drop so as long as you have your loadout and as soon as you heard that first loadout drop you look up in the air and you see where they're dropping go ahead and grab the high ground in that area and work that area and rotate have that you being your key area of rotation now if you did die and now you have no your perks or no guns it was okay to run rebirth without your perks it's better better to honestly land on your old loot where you died and potentially wait for those players to rotate out than to land on your loadout because once you land once 
those players have now achieved that oh he needs his loadout he's gonna keep coming back and you're gonna do the same thing and then by the time you think you know what maybe i land on my old loot it despawned so make sure you always go for the despawn loot first and then go for the loadout drop if you really really need to now this tip i think a lot of people do know but i want to go a little bit more in detail about it but if you guys don't know Anytime you guys get a kill or knock, that timer for your teammates respawn starts to tick lower and lower. So if it's 10 seconds you get a kill, it goes down 3 seconds or 4 seconds. And it continues to go down so your teammates get uh, spawned up a little bit faster. However, not everybody's an aggro style player who's going to be getting those high kill games or getting those consecutive kills. Or maybe there's no one even around you. An easier and faster way to get up your teammates is by picking up contracts, whether they get poached or not. So just such as bounties um opening up chests all types of chests even the chests that respawn will help you out and then as well as entering the buy station and buying anything from plates to a uav anything that requires score will lower that timer for your teammates to spawn back quicker now this is a tip more useful towards the beginning of the game because towards the end game there's not a lot of options and the zone gets smaller and you don't want to be running around opening chests but in beginning games your teammates start to die Go ahead, start opening up chests. Go ahead, start buying, you know, plates just to get them up faster, depending on the situation. Again, it's all situational based. And end game, you don't want to use this technique because you're going to end up dying more off your rotation. But I highly recommend don't force yourself to just go for kills and knocks. Now, step number five is, yes, every kill you guys do get will ping up a player or their teammates. However, if you kill one player and you only see one ping, there's a chance that there might actually be more two or three players. And the reason for that is because some players who are ghosted will still pop up on a ping. However, their pulse will only happen, not their actual red dot. So you gotta pay, pay close attention to the pulse, not the red dot, because the red dot will show you exactly where the player is at. And that's probably player recovering or not running ghost off rip. However, if you pay attention to the pulses, you'll start to notice that there's more than one player and those players are ghosted. And with that, keep in mind, you're able to, you know, play a little bit differently. Maybe play for the ghosted player but before you play for the, uh, the player that's alive and playing that gameplay off that as well. Sometimes your pulses can pulse other teammates and other teams and you're able to kind of see more than just one squad. Also on the note, you sometimes don't know if you get a team wipe or not. And a good way to do it is the kill feed can sometimes be hectic is listen for the audio cue. It's the sound of a thump or even a drum. And once you hear that, that's when you know you've wiped a team completely. Tip and mistake number six is that you are invincible until 10 meters off the ground when you're spawning on Rebirth Island. Invincible unless you're shot in the head. Now, most players aren't running a sniper, and this is why I usually do run a sniper because it's a lot easier to get those headshots on the players floating up in the air. But not only do you have this information now to, so you know, okay, I'm not going to shoot that guy because he's invincible and wait till it gets lower, but you should use that to your advantage when you're the one respawning. If you're the one respawning, you don't need to jump off right away. There's so many times where I'll see teammates as soon as they spawn up dive straight to, to the ground to get their loot and they don't know because they don't float a little bit but there's players on their loot use that to your advantage and pop your parachute right away don't take any you know don't go a little bit closer to the floor float around and yeah you'll get shot at and yeah the visuals will make it look like you're dying but pay attention to the bottom left there's a high chance you're not even taking any damage and the reason for that is that spawn protection so just be careful still add a little bit of movement you don't want to get sniped but use that not only so hey i'm not going to shoot that guy and waste ammo unless i have a sniper but step number two if you're the one responding use that to your advantage to scout an area and the last step we're getting to is step number seven the most important step and it's actually the step you use towards the end of the game when there's one squad left depending on how fast you play the game if you play the game and there's a minute left on rebirth 30 seconds left on rebirth two minutes left on rebirth you should cycle that last squad the best as possible grab that dominance make that a 4v1 and leave that one player up as soon as you see another player respawn kill them and kill them and that's how you get those high kill games your 15 kill game could turn into a 20 kill game just based off that one team and how long rebirth island is uh, or that rebirth factor is uh, up for as well as if rebirth does disable and maybe there's only one player alive still give it a couple seconds because if they have players still up in the air and still waiting to be respawned they will still do it regardless if disabled is activated or not and the reason for that is if that queues up while they've been dead already they are still granted their rebirth time so still if it disables don't be like all right guys let's just start killing no relax give it 30 seconds you're in a dominant position just give it 30 more seconds you might see another guppy flying out the air all right enjoy the rest of your day guys enjoy the rest of your gameplay if you want to get better make sure you subscribe to those push notifications on and share this with that friend that one guppy on the squad should be like listen no questions asked just watch it enjoy the rest of your day guys and peace out we're good we're good they're all above us that was toxic. Oh no. I've been playing bad recently, bro. I don't know what's up with me. It happens. Yeah, I've been a slump. Might go, be go, another go, one. Push push They're not gonna want to come down here and trust. I have no plates. Yeah, plates. I'm gonna flank them. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I'm about to drop them right here. Watching her back for a second. I'm gonna back up actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna go over here and try to flank them. Okay. 
I got I downed one. Okay. There should be only two or three. I don't know. I only saw two when I. Above me. Sustained. You actually fell for that? Nice. Oh my god! All this trick in the book, Papa. Good shit, man. Hmm. I kind of use. Dude, scream sounds so fucking stupid sometimes. What's your favorite spot to land? Right here. Oh no, it's, a, it's above us. We did late rotation. Awesome. Oh, yeah. It's, two, it's multiple. It's like all. Oh, it's that full team from earlier, bro. It's a whole team. I'm gonna have to hold it down for the gang. Got him. How many did you get? I got three. Nice. There's more people down here on my left. Oh, we're in a really good spot. Yeah. Yeah, then this building in front of me, I'm gonna push. I only see one, but it oh, might it's be right, one. Right. It's pushing out, I think, to the cart, yeah. Did you buy it? My gas pass, you're gonna have to storm hold, Papa. Take as long as you can down there. Enemy soldier incoming. Um, right here. Yeah, it was like a... On the roof, he's already up. Shouldn't have any guns though. So. I might be f***ing dead. No, no, I'm good, I'm good. No, I'm not good, I'm Can dead. Can parallel park? Damn, I just got here too. I'm in, I'm safe, but yeah, there's just get on me. I'm... Give me cards real quick. Alright. Place to land. <laughs> <laughs> Can go. <laughs> <laughs>